Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Yuri, the Tema, and Alexander Shabalov. This extremely beautiful chess game was played in Hapsalu in 1986. Where is Hapsalu? Hapsalu is a seaside resort town in Estonia. Yuri Vetema had white pieces and he started with e4. Alexander Shabalo played knight to f6, Alekhin defense. Attacking the knight, knight to d5, d4, attacking white center, c4 attacking the knight, knight to b6, f4, four pawns attack, d takes on e5. F takes on e5. C5 attacking white center again. D5. E6. White to move. How would you continue? Yuri played knight to c3, the best move. E d6. Queen to h4 check. King to e2 check again. And black would be winning. What else? If d takes on e6. Queen takes queen check, king takes, bishop takes on e6 winning for black again. So we have knight to c3, e takes on d5, c takes on d5, black to move. Perhaps check comes to mind. Alexander Shabalo played c4, why? In order to play bishop to b4 or bishop to c5. Yuri played a3, bishop to c5, knight to f3, Shabalov castle at the king's side, bishop to e2, bishop to f5, attacking the queen, queen to d7. 13 moves have been played. Who has the control of the center? Who has a better center? White has a better center. Definitely maybe. White center looks over extended. Do you agree? What does over extended means? Over extend means to extend, reach or expand beyond a proper safe or reasonable point. White to move, queen to d2, h6, attacking the bishop, bishop to f4, developing the knight to a6, and Yuri Vetema cast at the queen's side. Rook from a to c8, lining the rook with white king, brilliant move. h3, Intending g4, g5. Black must be very quick. What is the best move for black? Black should be fighting on the queen side. And indeed, Alexander Shabalo played the best move. Knight to a4. Knight to d4. Previous plan was g4. Why not g4? Let's have a look. If g4. Knight takes on c3, queen takes knight, bishop to d3, bishop takes bishop, pawn takes bishop, queen takes pawn, bishop to e3 winning for black. Okay, so in the game we have a knight to d4, bishop takes knight, queen takes bishop, knight from 6 to c5, threatening. Knight to b3 check, winning the queen. Bishop takes on c4, preventing knight to b3. Black to move. This is the most interesting moment of the game. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause the video and find the best move for black. What did you find? Did you find this brilliant queen sacrifice? 
Shabalo played Queen to B5. What a move! This move is winning. Black is threatening. Queen takes on B2. Check. Mate. Rook to D2 defending. Of course, first move that comes to mind is what? Bishop takes queen, but this move has a downside. Check, mate is a downside. So we have rook to d2. Black to move. What would you do now? Black, play the move. And white resign. The move is knight takes on c3, white resigned. In the final position, his center looks pretty useless because he can't defend the king. Well, let's have a look at few variations. The most obvious one is pawn takes knight, but then a queen to b1. Check, mate. What about queen takes knight? Then knight to b3 check. Bishop takes knight, rook takes queen. And one more. If b4, then knight to b3 check. This is all possible because of the rook on c file. King to b1, rook takes on c4, winning for black. Or if bishop takes on b3 here, then can you see the win? Knight to e2 check, winning the queen. So there was no sensible defense and white resigned. And let's go back to, to this most interesting position of the game. This is the position. Did you find this brilliant move that Shababa played? If you did, congratulations. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.